The CBS hit drama NCIS Los Angeles is back with new episodes this Sunday. And I caught up with the star of the show, Chris O'Donnell, to find out what's in store. Did you get her? Did you get Katya? No. She left just before they got there. She must have seen or heard them coming. Or someone dipped her off. Why do you say that? Because she evaded me for months now. Every time I think I get close, she vanishes. I don't think Katya has very many friends right now. She's betrayed just about everyone, including the Russians. Which would be a reason to tip her off, so they could kill her themselves. Glad you are here. Glad we're getting some new episodes back. Let's start with this weekend show, Red Rover, Red Rover. What are we going to expect? This is further following on the storyline here between um, Callan and his, his girlfriend, Anna, who he was trying to make his wife. Um, but uh, we've gotten caught up in a crazy Russian storyline with Katya, who the viewers would remember from previous episodes. Um, it, it's interesting. This is this is all a culmination of years of kind of planting seeds in earlier seasons of different storylines. And on a show like this, when you get to season twelve, you start to harvest these storylines and and uh, flesh them out, flesh them out a little bit. And so it's um, for Callan, it, it's coming to a head here, and it it's opening up a lot of questions about his past. Um, you know, he, he he was raised in an orphanage and in foster homes, and Hetty had a big uh, played a big part in his life and kind of raising him in, in a certain way. But he's realizing now that maybe she was grooming him for something specific that relates to this whole tangled mess he's gotten caught up. And it's it's really, you know, raising some questions for him. She saw something special in Callan for sure. It is amazing. Like, I mean, I'm a huge NCIS everything fan, all of them. So it's no surprise that these series have gone on so long. But can you believe you are about to wrap your 12th season? It's amazing. Yeah, it's it's um, time flies. I realize it's a long time when I, I think back to my youngest child was in diapers when we started and now she's 13. So it's it's um, yeah, time flies, but it's been an amazing uh, journey. Uh, I still get excited every day going to, to work and um, I feel a little more refreshed than normal at the end of this season, given the pandemic. We've really had to tone down the shooting schedule to keep everyone healthy and um, so it just hasn't been the, the normal grind. It's been so fun to watch you on this show, especially growing up, seeing you in some of those iconic roles, the Batman forever and fried green tomatoes, scent of a woman, all those things. Do you like this kind of TV schedule better? Does this fit, fit better with your life? It fits re really well right now, <laughs> the place I'm in life. I've got five kids, um, and it's given me the ability to stay in Los Angeles for a long period of time and give some fly. consistency to you their lives fly. because well, one of the life of an actor, you're, you're a gypsy you and you're moving fly. around and I filmed all over the world and, and that's yeah. a lot of fun. But when you have kids and you need to lay some roots, having the stability of a show like this has really been a blessing. What did you uh, kind of learn about yourself during this time? Did you acquire any new skills? You know, it's always fun to see what you all did with this downtime. It's funny, I, 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 uh, there was a lot of things that I always said I was gonna do around the house. <laughs> That suddenly because you, you can't go anywhere and so yeah. I think I must have hung about 40 things on the wall throughout this house I mean there's just all these framed I'm gonna someday I'm gonna hang that somewhere some way that someday that's gonna you know <laughs> suddenly walls are full um I always said I was gonna get a flagpole in front of the house I got a flagpole finally um <laughs> just like crazy things and then all of a sudden you you start screwing around with your your, your yard and I'm like the you know, landscaping was fine but because I'm stuck here every day for months after months I'm I'm starting to change things it's uh it's expensive in that respect you grew a green thumb and you became a handyman and now you're probably ready to be done with that and happy to be back on set <laughs> one more day of work and uh, I'll be ready to venture out a little bit New episodes of NCIS Los Angeles start this Sunday at 9 p.m. right here on WUSA 9.